And with your next exhale, we're gonna drop to the knees, send our two big toes together. Send our hips back towards our heels. We're gonna come into your child's pose. Again, using any props that you need to, any cushions or blocks. If your hips are quite far off your heels, you can place a cushion in underneath for a little bit of support. You can place a cushion or the block again back in underneath your chest. And we're just bringing our awareness back to the breath. Another couple of breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And when you're ready, I'm going to get you just to walk your hands back up towards your your hips. So you're going to come down onto your right hip, send your right arm in line with the short edge of the mat. Our right elbow is stacked in underneath the right shoulder. The palm of the right hand is pressing down onto the mat just for support. Our right knee can either be bent forward if that helps with your balance or you can keep it long. So it's entirely up to yourself. Again, it might just depend on how your big bump is. So we're going to begin with the left leg. So we're going to take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. Now your left hand could be resting wherever you like, on your hip, on your bump, on the ground if you need an extra little bit of balance. So we're going to take a nice deep inhale in. We're going to lift this left leg up, pointing through the left toes. And with our exhale, we're going to lift the left leg up any amount, feeling the activation in our glutes. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, two more, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale, coming back to center. So we're going to switch over and we're going to bring this left arm down, coming onto your left hip. Again, your left leg can be straight or bent as you work through your right leg. So making sure we're not sinking into this left shoulder. We're going to inhale, point out through the right toes. With the exhale, right leg lifts. Inhale down, exhale up. 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 Two more. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, come back to centre. We're going to switch over, coming back onto your right hip, right arm and line with the short edge of the mat. So from here we're going to inhale up. As we exhale, we'll move the leg forward. Inhale to centre, exhale, we'll move the leg back any amount. Inhale through centre, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale, center, exhale back. Inhale, center, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale forward. Center, exhale back. Center, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale, center, exhale back. Inhale, center, exhale down. Inhale up, forward. Inhale, center, exhale back. Inhale, center, exhale down. Last one. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale, center, exhale back. Inhale, center, exhale down. So let's switch across to the left. Yeah, we're pressing out through the left and forearm. Left leg bent or straight. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale forward, inhale center, exhale back, inhale center, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale forward, inhale center, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale forward, inhale center, exhale back, inhale center, 
exhale down, inhale up, exhale forward, inhale center, exhale back, inhale center, exhale down, inhale up, exhale forward, inhale center, exhale back, inhale center, exhale down. Last one, inhale up, exhale forward, inhale center, exhale back, inhale center, exhale down. And then when you're ready, just hug those knees up, coming back in, sending yourselves over, coming back into your child's pose. So two big toes to touch, knees out wide, line your bump to come into the center. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. When you're ready, I'm going to get you just to push to come up, dropping onto the right hip, coming into your easy cross-legged position. So we're going to come into our Shavasana, so one of the most important parts of our yoga practice. So I'm going to get you to put back on any warm woolly jumpers, I'm grabbing any cushions, blankets, pillows, anything that will make you feel comfortable. So I'm going to get you to come to lie down on your left hand side. I'm going to sit up just to talk you through the last little bit. Um, mostly because at 38 weeks pregnant, I don't want to lie down and uh, fall asleep on this before we get to finish. So again, wrap yourselves up nice and warm. We start to cool down fairly quickly in our Shavasana. Making sure that we're nice and comfortable. So we're going to close our eyes. I'm going to allow our lips to gently touch. We're going to draw the awareness back to the breath, the inhale and the exhale. As we breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Allow your breath to come to a natural rhythm, not altered, not forced. And we're just going to do a very quick and easy relaxation for the full body. So your next inhale, becoming aware of your right foot. Every toe, the sole of the foot, the top of the foot, the right ankle. With the exhale, allow it to release, to relax, to let go. On your next inhale, becoming aware of your right lower leg, your right knee, your right upper leg. And with your exhale, allow it to relax, to release, to let go. On your next inhale, becoming aware of your left foot, each and every toe, the sole of the left foot, the top of the left foot, and left ankle. And with your exhale, align it to release, to relax, to let go. Becoming aware of your lower left leg, your left knee, your upper left leg, and your next inhale. Exhale, allow it to release, to relax, to let go. Your next inhale, becoming aware of your hips, your pelvis, your lower torso, your bump, your baby. And with your next exhale, releasing any tension that we're holding on to in any of those areas. On the next inhale, becoming aware of your chest, the sides of your body, your upper back, your shoulders. With your exhale, allow them to release and let go. On your next inhale, becoming aware of your upper right arm, your right elbow, your lower right arm, your right wrist, 
your right hand, each and every finger, your right arm as a whole. As you exhale, you allow it to release, to relax, to let go. On your next inhale, becoming aware of your left upper arm, your left elbow, your left lower arm, your left wrist, your left hand as your a whole, your each and every finger on your left hand. And with your exhale, allow it to release, to relax, to let go. On your next inhale, becoming aware of your neck, your jaw your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, your ears, your brow, your scalp, your head as your, as your whole, your body as a whole, as you release, relax and let go. Feel free just to switch off the video. Lie here and relax for a little bit longer. Or if you're ready, let's slowly begin to bring the awareness back into the room. Slowly bring the awareness back into the body by wiggling at fingers, wiggling at toes. We're gonna to keep our eyes closed. Keeping the awareness inwards. We're going to rub the palms together to create a wee bit of heat and we're going to cup the hands over our heart center. We're going to repeat the Sankalpa and the positive affirmation that we said three times at the start of the practice. We're going to really hear it and feel it as we repeat it three more times. And when we're ready, we're going to rub the palms together again to create a bit of heat. We're going to cut the hand over our heart centre and that over our baby. And we're going to collectively send some strength out to anybody that we feel that needs it. For whatever struggles that they might be having. And bringing our palms together again to create an extra bit of heat. We're going to cup the hands over our eyes. And when you're ready, you can slowly open our eyes before we drop the hands down away from the eyes. Push in to come up to an easy cross-legged position. Don't rush yourself, take your time. And that's our practice finish for today. Take care. I'll see you soon.